The youngest British victim was 19, the oldest 80 years old. From north and south, they were couples, friends, three generations of one family. 18 months after the murders, their relatives came to the Royal Courts of Justice seeking answers and prepared to hear harrowing details of the terror attack on innocent tourists. Some shook their heads, others found it hard to watch as amateur video of the gunman's rampage in the resort of Seuss was played out. Sefadine Resgui killed 38 tourists that day, 30 of them British. He chose the luxury Imperial Mahaba Hotel for his brutal assault, on the beach, then inside the hotel. Armed with a gun and grenades, his spree lasted more than 20 minutes before he was shot dead. Behind him, a trail of chaos, confusion, carnage. Families were assured that finding out exactly what happened to their relatives is at the heart of this inquest, but its scope is bigger than that. The coroner will look into the security arrangements at the hotel. He will ask whether or not the guests were well enough informed about the risk of a terror attack and whether the travel companies and foreign office gave adequate advice. There will be questions asked of the Tunisian authorities too. The QC for the inquest said evidence will be heard suggesting police deliberately and unjustifiably slowed down to delay their arrival at the hotel. They had the ability to put an end to the attack before police arrived, but wasted a considerable amount of time in getting to the hotel. Exactly why is not yet clear. It will take seven weeks to go through all the evidence to make some sense of these terrible deaths so far from home.